What's up chat? Do you remember the bass bong I made? Well, when I made and designed this, for the keys to use while using it, they were hot glued into place. And while this is a sufficient solution for a one-off project, it would be nice to have something more modular that I could just slot in as and when I need. And thanks to the success of this project, it got some decent views. Uh, people really liked the idea. I was contacted by a certain company, uh, you might know them. PCBWay basically contacted me and said, would you like to collaborate on something? And I said, yes. So, the idea, if I may present it, a small hot swap modular keyboard I can slot into anything I like. I came up with this as a prototype. Yes, this little prototype works well. And the way I made this, I basically reverse engineered a little mini hot swap keyboard I already have and own and use. And it took many, many iterations to get this, as you can tell. But from this, I had the basic foundations I needed. I've never made a PCB before. CAD's very nice. And I went into FreeCAD, and after a little bit of back and forth, I received a package. <laughs> unboxing! Oh, a nice sticker there. I did request kindly that they send me some merchandise with the uh, shipment, and they gladly obliged. So, I have a nice little pencil case, a little desk ornament. These are cool what they offer. These little rulers with all the little denotations and markings on the back. Very handy to have. I'm very thankful. And a couple of extra stickers in the bag. And these are the PCBs I made. I say I made. They made. I designed. Mini MIDI Hot Swap Keyboard PCB. That's basically what they are. Got the channel logo there. So uh, like and subscribe. I did ink out the correct keys and the little key there. Now they can pre-assemble these. Uh, as it's my first time, I don't know how to submit a BOM. So I'll leave that for next time, if we are to collaborate again in the future, which I hope we do, because who I've talked to there, very nice people. And then, in here, let's take a look. I didn't want to use screws for this. I just wanted it to snap together, nice and firm. And this is the great reveal. Oh. What do you reckon of that? That's nice, isn't it? Cool. Thank you. I'm going to roll up my sleeves because it's getting quite warm. Let's open this. Oh, my first PCB. How about that? It's only a little uh, cute one. Something to start with. Learning process. Now, does it fit in the housing? Hopefully my uh, dimensions are correct. Oh, that, that, that's absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. And this fits on there, like so. And this fits over the top. It fits nice. Doesn't look bad, does it? I didn't know what materials to use, uh, so this is also an experiment with these specific materials. Now, as I have five PCBs, I've bought male and female connectors for the end to connect to the Arduino Pro Micro, which is another thing I've been experimenting with. And while these look like a film strip, these are actually the... I'm not actually sure what they're called. That's why, that's why I didn't submit a BOM, because I'm not sure what these are called. I did find them on eBay. Here's the name for them. Let's hope for no mess-ups. So the way these work with the keyboard keys, it presents two little sockets there for the pins of a keyboard switch to slot into. Just give me options in the future. If I don't want to use keyboard keys, for example, I can use anything that connects two things together. And there we have them all set into place. Now, that's no good. Well, <laughs> that is good. But obviously it needs a way to interface with the Arduino or any other microcontroller out there. Pop those in there. Make sure they are the correct orientation. I believe so, though. That goes in there, that goes in there, that goes on there. Nice. I find it quite fascinating how quickly it is to pick up soldering. Before I started making all these little things, and I've only been going a few months now, the thought of soldering would just terrify me. But now it's like, yep, just a little bit of flux, a little dab of solder, tap it to the side, and it'll go right on you. So yes, if you do have a fear, just have a go. There's no reason not to. Any ideas in your head, start a little YouTube video, show us. Just keep going, bro. You go at this. That's not bad. I'm going to clean the flux off. Satisfying. Satisfying. Excuse me, I'm kind of speechless right now. We need to check that switches fit. They appear to fit perfectly. <laughs> That's satisfying.
And there we have a little keyboard. Isn't that lovely? The way I designed it, it has a slot. What's the, what's the inverse of a slot? Name for something that goes into slot. A token. Anyway, it has ridges at the sides that slot into anything that I make. So if I make another base bong prototype, if I decide to advance on this, in the side, and I've given it eight keys, so it can be C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And there we have it, fully wired. Oh, I'm going to adjourn for some lunch, I believe. Random product review to Helena Orenzada, Originali Smack. Oh, it's not orangey. Well, it kind of is. Nice. Small problem, just a small one. In my PCB schematic, I forgot to put this pin to ground. Small little setback, small little setback. These things do happen. It does make me a bit upset that I didn't get it right first time. Yes, just a small little trace missing. Should be fixed now. Time to test. Slightly different angle for this, but there it is assembled. Very nice. There's the Pro Micro on the end. All the wiring, very nice and neat. Plug it in. This is the code, which has been slightly modified from an example sketch to add an extra button and add pitch sensitivity for any potentiometers you also want to attach to the analog pins available on the Pro Micro. Yeah, that's... Basically it. Now if I go to FL Studio, just to prove that it works. But there is something I want to try for the first experiment of this module. And if you'll join me back at the other set. Pipe. Now I'm not going to be able to fit all this in frame. It's quite large. It's for drainage it is. My intent, well, the base bomb, I am going to recreate a housing for this to attach here. I'm going to attach the module along the stem. I guess the word is stem. What would you call the length of a pipe? And then I'm going to hold it to my mouth and have like, kind of like a didgeridoo. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. All right, so first off, let's do some CAD work, get some printing done, usual standard stuff, you know, you know the drill. Ah, so, a day later, and we have this. The scale of this is not going to fit in frame, sadly. It's freestanding, as you can see, no hands. It's basically a drain pipe. Well, it's not basically, it is a drain pipe. It's a drain pipe with a subwoofer on the bottom. Now, this is just a fitment check, so there are some things I still need to do. Making this did allow me to use some new toys. So I have finally a set of electronic calipers, digital calipers, and an actual real Dremel, which was really fun to use. The drain pipe fitment into the electronics housing was a bit tight. In hindsight, I should have put a fillet on the edge so it could slot in easier. So I just use this to file around the edge. The insides look like that. And learning from the base bong previously, the speaker is attached directly and perfectly to the drain pipe. Now, while that's on, I'm going to have to take it off in order to continue soldering. And as you can imagine, this is a bit unwieldy. But I would like to thank Bringer Studios for a short about these little things otherwise I would never have known. And these are solder seal tubes. So you put one end of the wire in there, slide that through, twist them to the other end of the wire, put that over, heat gun it. And when I said I was going to use a heat gun, I meant heat gun. Probably the cheapest heat gun you can buy. You're not going to be able to see much of this, but that's the before. Well that's the after. Can you see that very well? I'm not sure. Let's make sure all the wire in is nice and neat in here now. Next job, this audio cable, when I built the bass bong, I just bodged it together, as you can see there. So I'm going to rectify that and not bodge it together. Ah, and that's the audio cable done. So let's test if it works. So shout out to S'mores who I watch a lot. This is Costa Rica in 4K. 
Look at that sub move. That's actually distorting the light that the camera's picking up. Did you see that? Watch this. It's wobbling, bro. So let's tidy this up and reassemble. If you notice the shapement of this, it's to accommodate the extra ridges of the speaker. It was slightly awkward with the wires and it's a very, very tight bit. But there we have it. Shall we see what it sounds like? <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> <I'm> so... <laughs> It's going to be hard to display the scale of how big this actually is. So with this done, you may be wondering how I'm going to attach the module to this and where. I could make like a sort of housing for it, but I'm actually going to use string. Now, why would I use string? And it's not because I'm too lazy to make a housing that will fit it, but I want this to look like a didgeridoo. So rustic looking, but with this just on there. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. Uh, I'm going to have to do it off camera though, because as you can tell, I can't fit any of this in frame. It's just too big. But I'll show you in a moment for you and maybe some time for me. And I'm going to paint it all pretty as well. And there we have it. It's very tall, so it's going to be hard to show you the full effect of how monstrous this is. I did get a little artsy with it as well. It's got a recycled, I say recycled, I never used it, a bamboo placemat to give it that didgeridoo effect. Rustic folk, you know, homemade. That's the earth, that's the sky, that's the birds, that's the wind, that's the dirt below us, that's the sun, and that's the music. Also, I designed, because one of the reasons I wanted the mini hot swap keyboard is that I could experiment with keycaps. So these are self-designed custom keycaps with rounded edges. They just fit on nice so that when they're being played, when they're being played like so. I haven't plugged it in yet, so let's see what that sounds like. One moment, please. Yes, I'm going to keep playing with this and Anyway, this is about experimentation. And experimentation takes time, but I will continue playing with this. But this is modular. It's easily removable from this. I'm not gonna do it right now, but I am gonna do it for the thumbnail. I haven't done the thumbnail yet. If you've seen the thumbnail, then uh, you've seen this taken off there and that will give evidence, credence to the claim that it's modular. Because all I've tied it on with is string. I'm a bit of a Rust fan, the video game, so it's a bit like something you'd find in Rust perhaps, but it is fun. It is fun. Yeah, I'm going to uh, keep playing. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Thank you to PCBWay for helping make this project a reality. And thank you very much to my supporters on Coffee.